Hi, I am Ekta Hinduja and a big, big warm welcome to my channel. If you guys have seen my first exhibition hall, the Nomadic Hall, as to what all I bought, then this is a part two, or you can call it a mini hall. The last video is actually about the previous year and this year things that I bought together. The video that I'm doing right now is completely things that I bought this year. So starting with the crockery section, I bought two mugs previously and I loved it so much that I picked up an another one. It is orange in color, color and it's got cute patterns just like the teal blue one that I got it previously. This is priced at 100 rupees and I got it from the same shop from where I bought the bowls and the cup. Moving on with the crockery section, I bought these two uh, plastic mason jars with a lid on top of it. It's blue and orange in color. This I picked up from that kitchen store where you have a lot of plastic items. You have kitchen utensils. So these are priced at 50 rupees each. I found them super cute and it was also got a jar with a lid. So if you're not using it for your house, you can just put in something uh, like buttons or uh, threads or anything to store in because they always, always come in handy. And every time at home, you'll always find that there are not enough boxes to store things. So they have nice colors. They have green, brown, gray and yeah, and these two colors. So I found them really pretty and I picked two of these. And from the same kitchen store, I picked up this small box. It is a lock box for 95 rupees. It's got three different sections which are uh, removable. You can just use it completely as a box. But there are these three masalas that I use it very frequently but I couldn't put it in the uh, normal one that I'm using. So I bought this for that. You can also use these for a lot of storage things in your house. You can put your kids uh, things in this or if they want to take school and they want to put different items in this like snacks, you can do so. Or you can put those... Um, uh, makhanas uh, like those um, so uh, somf or supari or those things in these so this is quite uh, handy can be used for a lot of things and looks very bright and colorful and the best part is this is lock things or you can do one more thing like if you made food the previous night and you've got little little portions left but you do not use different uh, bowls in it you can put in each of these and this will save a lot of space in your refrigerator so this is the next item that i bought and if you go to the exhibition don't pick up things for your little one then that's not fair so as i was passing by i found this very cute little toy it's got an airplane and it keeps going like this so every time doraemon nods its nose it's blue and bright in color and with a nice yellow uh, fan in front this i picked up for 150 bucks he said it was for 200 but then I bargained, I bought for 150 I guess if I would have bargained a lot more, I'd have got it a little cheaper rate, but then I didn't want to waste my time there. So this is the item that I picked up for my son. And when you go to the exhibition, you don't end up things that you don't want, but still when you go there, you're like, oh wow, this is so cute. So yes, this is what has happened. I picked up this bag. In fact, my mom loved it. So she picked up this cute little pouch. This is made of that entire Rajasthani work. This is a section that I had mentioned in my previous video. So this is for 200 rupees. It's made of this and it's got a big uh, pocket inside. So if you are going somewhere and you want to store it, especially with Indian clothes, this looks really, really cute because you don't want to wear something uh, very off the track with your Indian clothes. So this will look really nice in it. So this is what I picked up. In the back section, I picked up this one it's a huge bag this i picked up for 150 they said it's for 200 yet again bargain and you can get it at a good price so this is huge from inside so if you're going for a picnic or if you're going and or going to um say for uh, some vacation and if you're flying in the aircraft you want to put in loads of things for yourself for your family or if you're just doing a day trip somewhere you can carry a lot of things in these it's quite sturdy it looks nice, colorful, the handle has got a very good grip. So for 150, this is a very good bag. I bought this uh, bag similarly, but in a bigger size from Kolkata. I think uh, a year and a half back for 400 rupees. But now they've come down a lot in the prices. Uh, obviously, the size matters a lot. So yeah, this is an exciting. item. Then you go exhibition and don't buy kurtis. Not fair. So I picked up four of them. I actually went to buy this one in brown color 
but I didn't find it. Like it was out of stock, and they said, "Madam, khatam ho gaya." So my suggestion or my tip would be, whenever you are going and you like something, don't say, "Ki no, no, I'm going to buy the next time. I'm come. Don't do that because next time it's never available." Or probably you will not be able to find the store, or you'll be like, uh, "Leave it, yeah. If I want to, why should I go?" But then back of your mind, you'll be like, "No, yeah, I should have bought it." So don't do that should thing. Go definitely and buy it. So on the same uh, tie and dye material, I picked up this pink one. They have a dark pink, blue, green, and black. So I picked up this one. As you all know, summer is going to come, and you need clothes that are uh, light. Comfortable. This I can wear it at home, and I can wear a legging underneath. Or if I'm going go, I can just put this on top of me, and I'm like good to go. So this is what I picked up for three hundred rupees. Bargain two fifty rupees. Trust me. Bargain, bargain, bargain as much as you can. Next, I picked up this very beautiful cotton anarkali. It looks very nice. They had a grey color in this. This is quite long. Can be worn themed up with a dark pink legging. Or a black, whatever you prefer. This I picked up for six hundred. The guy refused to bargain, and I was like, no, but I need it. But then he's like, no, I'm not going to bargain. And I'm after like fifteen minutes, I was like, okay, just leave it. I didn't want to miss out on this, and it looked really pretty when I came back home. I was super happy that I bought this one. So this is the one kurti that I picked up. Then the item that I should. Uh, I could not, never wanted to miss out. Was a Lucknowi kurti. They look fabulous. Like if you go out and search for them, you might not get what you're looking for. They have a dedicated entire area uh, to it. It's uh, you can ask anybody where you get the Lucknowi kurtis. They have amazing variety. They are very reasonable. Bargain with them, they'll give you at a very good rate. So we picked up this one. This is what I bought for myself. It's dark blue in color with a nice uh, white detailing on top of it. The black back also has got some little flowers around. It's transparent yet again. You'll have to wear a singlet inside, and it's got a lace work on the bottom. So now the deal with this was that this guy was offering me for eight hundred rupees, but then I told him I'll pick up one more if you give me thousand for two. I could have gone a little more less, but then as you know, you know you're on a time constraint, and you just want to get back home. And I didn't want to um, trouble my kid who's just five months old. He Oh, so sweetly was in the pram. He was just looking around like what my mother is doing. But yeah, so I didn't want to be um, rude to him and say, you know, no, I'm bargaining a lot. So I did as much as I could. But if you have time, then go ahead and bargain. So this is the next color, same print, same pattern. Next color, this is a red in color that I bought. The thing with this is it's got lace on the sleeves as well. So this is um, uh, very pretty, very cute. Now that Valentine's is coming, why not wear a red color? So this, uh, they have powder blue, dark blue, light blue, and some a, a different greenish blue they had. So yes, these are the items that I picked up from the exhibition. Whenever you go for a kurti section, make sure you see everywhere, everything around. Make up a make up your mind as to what you're exactly looking for, and whenever you go, make sure you check for colors and sizes because. I remember when this guy was packing up, he gave me one different size, one different size, but I didn't want that. I wanted similar sizes so that my, me and my mom could wear it together. So even if it's a little loose fitting on me, I don't mind it. It looks really cute. So yes, ask for more colors, ask for more sizes, and uh, keep uh, trying on uh, bargaining because you will definitely get a good deal and don't miss it out. And one more thing, as you know, it's Saturday, Sunday. It will be a superb rush. It's going to be 26th of January. It's going to be super crowded because everybody is going to get a vacation. Everybody has a holiday, and they would want to come. So try whenever you're going to the exhibition. If you are free, if you're house house working mom, or your kids are going off to school, and you have time in your hand, go from a time frame that's 2:30 to 4. There is very less crowd, and you can quickly go and finish up your shopping and come. They usually have a, a women's day, like a ladies' day, but that's already over. That was on January fifth. So I wish I'd have known, then I would have gone. But then that's okay. So every year, next year, if you're planning to go, they have a different ladies' day. Find out when is it so that you can go and shop. And lastly, they do allow bikes inside before four o'clock. So if you have a two wheeler or a four wheeler, they have a parking inside. Just ask the gate guy, and he will let you know the parking is free out there. 
so yeah uh, these are the things that i bought i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thank you so 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 much for the response that i have received for my exhibition hall part one it was crazy like a lot of people were asking me where did you get the bed sheet from where did you get the bowl from and where was this mug from so i have tried to explain as to where uh, i have bought and if i was unable to tell you so bed sheet you will get at every every stall you just it's, it just says like 300 rupees fixed price crockery section is at gate number 3 they have a lot of counters of the um, they have a lot of stores of the crockery so ask them bargain and then you will get it so i hope uh, you guys like this video and do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family but lastly please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'd be super super happy if you become my subscriber i post new videos every wednesday 12:30 pm sharp and i post product reviews i do travel food travel vlogs food vlogs and uh, some random cute little videos with my nieces and nephews so i'll see you guys in my next video till then take care bye bye